Hey YouTube, what's up? I haven't uploaded in a while. I haven't sang any songs or done any cool videos. But for photography, we have to do this really cool project that has to do either snapshots or videos. I don't really know, but I'm going to end up uploading pretty soon because the project's due like May where my AP exams are, which I'll probably fail. Anyway, <laughs> um, right now I'm at a friend's house because my camera Christina, I'm really tan right now too, but you can't tell because this door is open. Close, can you go closer? Yeah. the door. I'm really tan right now, which makes my teeth look really white. It's kind of cool. Um, at this present moment, I kind of have stalkers ish. They like look up on our relationships and stuff. So at the present moment, my relationship status is not known to the world. And let's keep it that way. Just, you know, chill with that. Um, as of right now, I have experienced Ultra already. And I haven't done a video update on that, which is crazy. But that's for a whole other video. Right now, I'm just doing a quick update to let you know what's going on in my life. And um, stuff like that. My friend, actually, my best friend on dress, actually just called me and was like, Dude, X-Factor in Miami, blah, blah, blah. And, like, I really want to go. But, like, at the same time, I don't. Because Simon Cowell's a douchebag. And I don't know if I want to be told that my voice sucks. You know, like, it's my own confidence. And, you know, like, I know that I'll be able to do that in my own life. So I don't, I'm not going to jump at that chance to stand in line for about five hours and then be told, hey, sorry, um, we don't want to take you. Because you have to go through producers until you finally get to meet the judges. And it's just, like, a whole ordeal that I've already been through with American Idol and I don't want to do it again. Anyway, um, what else? I got into Coastal Carolina, that college I've been talking about on half my videos, yeah, and I'm going to be going to South Carolina and end up baiting a hick and start saying y'all on my videos all the time, and I'm probably going to start recording videos and talking like this and stuff like that, you know, yeah, talking all <laughs> Southern and stuff, but that's okay, I don't mind that, I like being Southern and stuff like that, yeah, um, what else? My hair is super long. Nigga, nigga, check it out, check it out. Yeah, um, anyway, this is just a simple little update. Um, my mom found out about my tattoo. Can you believe that? That was crazy. She came into my room, and I was just, like, getting dressed, and she was like, is that a tattoo? And I was like, no, mom, it's not a tattoo. And then she's like, let me see it. And then um, she was like, go show your dad. But my dad has known for a really long time. I hope my mom doesn't see this because it'll be in trouble. Ah! Um, <laughs> but my mom, is, my dad has known for a really long time, and, you know, like, he doesn't really care because it's meaningful. It's not, like, ridiculous or anything like that. It's not, like, something that's, you know, doesn't have, like, it's not just, oh, yeah, I decided to get a tattoo of a butterfly on the back of my, you know, arm or something like that. That's just really gay, like, the butterfly on your tramp stamp-ish. Tramp stamp exactly. And, um, you know, it's not worth it. So, not, I didn't get one of those. Everyone knows that my tattoo is an ohm. It's namaste for peace and tranquility for all the struggle that I've had in my life that I officially have now had peace, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to try and update another update later. <laughs> I'm going to try and update a little later with um, all the info of Ultra, like the 20, you know, like the full update, like of my whole, all of my activities, which is going to take forever, which... <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. If anyone who knows Ultra knows what I mean, I'm lucky to be alive. Like, I my bottom lip was destroyed. Destroyed after Friday night. It was just like, ugh. But it was worth it, dude. Tiesto was awesome. Dead Mouse, great. Um, David Guetta, best day. People were starting to sell their Saturday tickets or Friday tickets or, uh, wow, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday tickets. And they were just like, I'm going to sell my Sunday ticket. It's the last day. It's not going to be worth it. Hello. When they were Saturday, when it was just Friday and Saturday, you never wanted to sell your Saturday ticket because that was the biggest day. It's like, that's like selling your Saturday ticket. But no one understood that. And Sunday was the best night because David Guetta, Closed down Ultra. It was really funny because everyone left after Guetta and Chemical Brothers blew the dick. Like, they were horrible. Done. Tremendo lame. Speaking of Tremendo lame, for all my, you know, March Madness people, that UConn against uh, Butler game sucked dick, dude. Like, yay for UConn, but literally, like, what the fuck was up? That was the worst, that was the worst, you know, Final Four game I've ever watched in my life. Like, I mean, I, I bet money on UConn because I knew they were going to win. And what happened? They won because 
legit. The other team just like they couldn't they couldn't get a basket in for their life. They were they were starting to do like you know like desperate shots, three pointers, three pointers, three pointers, nothing. They didn't get one shot in. Like by the second half, it was like still in the twenties in the score. It was just pathetic. It was just straight up pathetic. Um, Marlin seating. Well, <laughs> Marlin's season is starting up again, and I know that you guys all know that I love baseball. Baseball is like my idol. So like, yeah, I am so happy. I can't wait till the new um, arenas all fixed up and ready to go. I'm gonna be in college, but I'm definitely gonna come down for a few games because they're gonna have a fucking fish tank back there. Like when they hit a home run, it's gonna be like fireworks and fish tank with all the fish and everything. It's gonna be really cool. Um, what else can I update with? I have lost weight. Can you tell in my other videos I look fatter and now I'm skinnier? I don't know if you can tell. I mean, like, you can tell because I haven't updated in a really long time. If you go back to one video to another, I was really chubby in the face and, like, my arms were a little thicker. I don't know. I've lost about 15 pounds since I've last updated, I'm pretty sure, which is awesome. Reaching my goal. Reaching my goal. Um... Other than that, my laptop broke, so I can't really do a lot of updates, and my camera was lost at my uh, at a clubbing event that I went to, because um, people suck. <laughs> and um, uh, so I don't really have a lot of ways to upload and update my videos, but I'm trying to jump on that and get my laptop fixed as soon as possible so I can start singing again and putting up those videos. I'm probably going to get a new laptop for before I go to college, so you can be guaranteed that I'm going to be on my laptop every single freaking day for college and updating as, as frequently as possible. Like, I'm probably going to have, like, a hundred and something videos in my channel by the end of next year. So, what else can I tell you guys? Um, check this shit out. Um, so, what's it called? There's a certain person who probably watches my videos who might watch this, who used to make fun of me all the time in school and stuff like that, but, uh, we actually have gotten back on a, on a talking basis. I saw my ultra on sad on Sunday, um, kept saying hi to me and stuff like that, which I thought was kind of weird, but it ended up being okay, you know, like, I saw him on class on Monday after ultra, oh, I was dead, dude, I had to go home. Anyway, he's, like, said hi, we kind of have a conversation, we, like, say hi to each other in the hallways now, which is cool, um, I'm not gonna say his name on the video, obviously, that's, you know, that's not right, I'm not gonna do that, point him out like that, but, um, you know, I don't find myself having problems with him anymore, like, you know, like, the, everything that, like, you know, he said, he didn't make fun of my videos, but, like, I know that he did, and, you know, like, it stopped, I stopped making videos for a while just because of that, but, you know, like, I have to, you know, I have to realize that, like, I can't let that get to me, can't let it get me down, so, that's fine, we're cool now, I, I don't really have a problem with him, it's just like whatever, like you know, <laughs> high school's about to end, dude. Just fix up your fucking torn up relationships and fuck the world, you know. Like you're not gonna see him again, or maybe you will in your next life, but you know, like don't end it on a bad note, which is what I'm trying not to. So, hence the tattoo that says "Om" for Namaste. Anyway, I'm gonna zone out right now and uh, go smoke some more hookah because I'm 18, bitch. Yeah. I love being 18, which means I get to go see Laid Back Luke next Friday at the Club Cinema, Fort Lauderdale. Mm, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to have a great time. Um, anyway, so I will see you guys later. Update with a musical video maybe another time. Um, I'm trying to do a music collab with a friend of mine who's a DJ, which will be really awesome. So I'm going to try and get my voice in a trance mix, which will be really cool, like a Razor Weapon style kind of song. Um, with dubstep because it's like dubstep is a building commodity right now So it's, it'd be really cool to put my voice um, in, a, in a dubstep song because it'll probably be picked up off YouTube for sure So I'm gonna try and work on that and other than that I can't wait to go to college study up business and start up an ultra festival of my own and make a lot of money yeah. so yeah, so um Peace out guys Cami Z for the runnings. I'll catch you guys later. Peace